Greetings and salutations everybody, this is Kirk Nelson with the Pixel Pro. In this second video in my Photoshop CS6 first look series, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite new additions to Photoshop CS6. It's a little feature that we like to call rich cursor information. And to demonstrate that, we've got Mr. Stock Image Guy here that I think maybe his name is Rich, I really don't know, but it kind of works I suppose. You know, you almost kind of wonder, do these stock guys realize how much abuse their image suffers under the hands of Photoshop guys like me? Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, we've got a single layer. We've got Mr. Stock Guy on this layer. We've got our Move tool selected. Now, if we go in and we move that layer, Rich here gets moved around, and we can see how far he's being moved because we get this great little pop-up next to the next to our cursor and it shows us to the pixel accuracy how far that layer is being moved and it's great because as you go back and forth across where it started you get the little switch between the left and the right and the left and the right and the up and the down and it gets all moved around like that but it's not only on the move tool but the rich cursor information is also available on the transformation tool and to demonstrate that, I've got this crown here. I've already got a selection created. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then back over here and Edit, Paste. So now we've got this crown on top of Mr. Rich the Stockman. Stockman Rich. I don't know. So if we go to Edit, Free Transform, we have get our familiar Transform Handle Cage which we can start transforming. Now as I scale it down, we get the pop-up that tells me exactly how wide and high, so the width and height of this new transformed layer. If I rotate it, I get exactly how far it's rotating to a tenth of a degree. Scale this down more. If I hold down the control to shear it, I even get the degree of shearness, the shear degree. It's sheerly degreed. I don't know. And of course, the move transformation. Apply that. Now, another great implementation of this rich cursor information is if we pull up the rulers and we pull out a guideline, yes, we get to see exactly where we're placing guidelines now. I've been hoping for a way to do this for so long, to just pull a guideline out and put it exactly where I want it without having to go to the View New Guideline dialog box. And now, even this, when we move it, we can see exactly where they're going. If we hold down Shift, it'll pop exactly to the pixel levels now, too. So, rich cursor information available in Photoshop CS6. Uh, I think my work here is done. Mr. Stockman looks utterly ridiculous with this crown on his head. And you now know about rich cursor information in Photoshop CS6. Thanks, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.